Alcatraz Island is in the heart of San Francisco Bay, just a mile and a quarter from the sights and sounds of the city, and it's been used as a fort and a lighthouse. But most people know it best as one of the most talked about prisons in North America. Well, Alcatraz Island was preserved as a part of the national park system because of its military history. In 1859, the first U.S. fortress in the west coast of the United States opened here on Alcatraz with over 100 cannons. Uh, it operated as a military fort and prison through 1933, at which point it was taken over by the Department of Justice. Of course, this is the most famous period in Alcatraz history. For the next 29 years, until 1963, it operated as the somewhat infamous U.S. penitentiary Alcatraz. In 1969, a group who became known as Indians of all tribe, tribes occupied Alcatraz Island. Uh, it was an occupation that lasted for 19 months, gained worldwide support for the cause of indigenous people. Uh, in fact, the federal policies of the time, which were terminating reservations and relocating Native Americans into urban settings, uh, that program was ended with an apology by Richard Nixon, the president, uh, in response to the movement that had its roots and its beginnings here on Alcatraz Island. Today, the National Park Service is working to preserve Alcatraz's buildings, protect its wildlife, and interpret its history. And although there's a vast amount of history behind Alcatraz, many visitors are rewarded with another treat. Most people find uh, the views to be one of the most dramatic aspects, as with many national parks, it's not just the island that's interesting, but the views from the island, the views of Angel Island, of San Francisco, of Oakland, of Berkeley, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Bridge. Uh, we, we jokingly say there's only one place in the Bay Area that has a better view, and that's on top of Angel Island because you can see Alcatraz from there. One of the other interesting aspects of Alcatraz's history was that Alcatraz was the site of the first lighthouse on the west coast of the United States. In fact, when this was part of Mexico and Spain, they had proposed building a light on the island, but it wasn't until 1854 that the predecessor of the U.S. Coast Guard built the first light here on the west coast on Alcatraz. Now, the one you see behind me today was a replacement constructed in 1909 and has been in pretty much continuous operation since 1909. It continues to shine 24 hours a day for the protection of boats uh, in San Francisco Bay. If you plan to visit Alcatraz, it's a good idea to book your tickets well in advance to avoid disappointment. We do have a limit to how many people can visit Alcatraz because it's a fairly small island. We limit ticket sales. So if you're coming to visit us in the summer, it is very important that you arrange your tickets in advance. We can sell out easily a week in advance during the summer months, which is our busiest season. Uh, but we limit it to a little over uh, around 4,000 people a day um, so that the kind of experience people have is a quality experience and to help protect the natural and cultural resources on the island. A visit to Alcatraz is definitely a stop you do not want to miss. For more information on booking a tour for you and your guests, make your way to www.nps.gov forward slash Alcatraz.